Rich, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah. I know that I've been put on the block ultimately because of Rachel. I absolutely believe that Rachel's gotten into Jordan and Jeff's ear, and I just, I want to know why. Is there something that I've done to you? Like, I want to clear the air if something's up. It offended me when you talked about Portia, that obviously, but everyone has their own opinion. But I mean, you see that being a valid reason to send me home? Well, it's not even just that. I mean, I've heard from plenty of people, plenty of people that you were going around saying that, you know, you want me and Brendan or Jeff and Jordan gone. At some point, Same. all of these guys are going to try to put you up. Well, I mean, obviously. That's just the matter of the game later on the down game. the road. So for it to come back on me, the most, probably one of the most honest people in this house, I feel like you're sending me out of here for personal I'm not reasons sending you out of here. I'm a female. What? That's how I feel. Seriously. Seriously, that's why I called you in here. I had a That's problem with you because you didn't talk to me when Brendan and I put a deal on the table with you. You said, why should I trust y'all? That was your I exact was word. I was honest with y'all. Your gameplay is horrible. Bottom line. Why didn't you win oh, HOH this week? I tried yeah. to, yeah. But you didn't. <laughs> You're a caddy. You really are. Like, I really pulled for you last season. I just want you to know that. I was a fan of yours, and I was like, that's bull the way people treat her. And then you come in here, and I get it. Absolutely. You're catty, catty girl. Ugly person inside. I'm seriously like, I'm about to go bonkers. Cassie's like the meanest fighter in the world. She used every single one of my weaknesses against me. Just because you have bad gameplay doesn't mean you need to take it out on me. What's wrong? Cassie's like so mean. She's so mean. She's like, you're a caddy and you don't like girls. And she's like, I pulled for you last summer. Now I see why everyone hated you. She's so manipulative. She used every single one of my weaknesses against me. I didn't do anything to her. Okay, listen. Being honest, okay? Some of the actions that you do, and some of the, maybe you don't see it, but it comes across as bitchy. I think you get so wrapped up in like being so competitive that you don't realize what you're saying. Don't cry. Oh, this just hurts so bad because I'm not a villain and I'm so tired of people using that against me because I'm not a mean girl, I'm not a villain. I don't attack people's characters. I don't talk bad about people. Yeah, come in. Hey, Rachel, you're not a bad person, but your mouth is gonna get you in trouble and you're gonna get a target for all of us. Come in. Hey, would you mind if I take a shower? Not at all. She basically told me that I'm catty, I don't like girls. If she's gonna call you out and like say all this mean stuff to you and hurt your feelings, let her look bad. Just stay, stay away from Cassie. I'm going Because I'm telling to. you, she's been doing this the whole time. She's tries to stir up. No, you. and she plays the victim role. Yeah, like, of course. feel but bad for me, home. I'm Cassie. She's feel bad, Rachel's the villain, I'm the victim. I know, but she's going home. I know so that. So it doesn't matter. I just. It's not even worth wasting your emotion on. At this point, I am finished with Cassie. If she's gonna upset my fiance and hurt her feelings like that, I just, I'm done. She is not worth it. Seriously.